Howdy all, and welcome to Fish Web's On the Water Review. Brought to you by Maple Bay Marine, your northern Michigan's Lund Boat Headquarters. Any season, any reason. And by Leaders RPM, Michigan's boating superstore, serving Michigan, the Midwest, and beyond. Today we are boating down the Crooked River. This 5.6 mile river is part of Michigan's famed inland waterway and connects Crooked Lake to Burt Lakes. If you're headed northeast from Crooked Lake, the first thing you're going to have to negotiate with is a small lock. The lock was built by the Army Corps of Engineers to keep the lake levels up after the river was dredged to improve boat traffic. The lock is now run by the Emmett County Parks and Recreation Division and will drop you the few feet needed. There's a spillway on the side of the locks where I like to stop and throw a line in when I can. You can pull some nice fish out of the swirls along the fast water. Bass, pike, walleye, they all stop here from time to time to feed. Just downstream from the lock, you pass through the village of Alanson and the world's smallest swing bridge. Today I have the top down and I can just squeeze the 18 footer underneath it. When I was a boy I remember a big hand crank used to open the bridge. Now it's electrically run from a small building on the east side of the span. Alanson also has public docking just north of the bridge. Here you can pull up and visit the village or just relax and watch the boats go by. The next landmark you'll pass under is the M68 bridge at the north end of Alanson. Just past that bridge you'll see an old boathouse on the west bank. It was built around the turn of the century and it's been the subject of many photographers over the years. For a short ways past the old boathouse, you'll see many cottages along the banks, so take it slow and easy. Once past the Crooked River Lodge, however, the river straightens out into Hay Lake and the end of the no-wake zone for a couple of miles. Although Hay Lake is more of a wetland than a lake anymore, before the river was dredged, most of the marsh you see now was underwater. Just northeast of Hay Lake, a small creek has built up a sandbar along the west bank of the river. With the icy water flowing from the creek, it's one of Shadow's favorite summer stops. The stretch from here to Mission Road is a beautiful part of the waterway. It winds through both hardwoods and marshlands, void of any man-made structures. You can sit back and enjoy the view or feel the exhilaration of the winding river. Once you reach Mission Road, you enter a no-wake zone, so slow down and check out the beautiful homes lying in the shores. After you leave the no-wake zone, you have just about a mile of winding river before you pass Marker 71 entering Burt Lake. For more information, maps, photos, and videos of Michigan's inland waterway, visit fishweb.com. Till next time, have fun, be safe.